So obviously the big game coming up here this weekend. What's the week of preparation been like up here in Collegeville? Uh, it's just like no any out normal week. Uh, we just go in, watch film, uh, figure out their offensive scheme, and uh, just come out and play Saturday. That's that's what we normally do. So, mm -hmm. is there any sense of maybe some things? I know it was last year, but what you can correct from last year's game down at Target Field that you're looking to improve this year? Um, well, we always point out the five major plays on defense. Um, if it's a third down stop or a fourth down stop, like those are the five key plays that we have to uh, accomplish or execute, and we just have to capitalize on those five plays and just do our own thing and go and play football. I know that you never played for John Gillardi, but do you have maybe a story that you um, of being around him or just the program and what um, that means to the team? Uh, right now, I'm actually taking his class with uh, Boz, so I'm reading. Boz's book about John and just, there's just so many great things that I've heard about him and um, that I really wish I would have met him and uh, just heard him talk. I, I heard he's a great speaker and uh, great to interact with people and I just really wish that I, I was able to do that but uh, he, d he definitely will be missed. So. What's it going to mean to you in the senior class to have one last Tommy Johnny game up here uh, at St. John's? Well losing him the last four times in three years it, this one really means a lot to me, and I really want to win this one just because I, I can't say I have beat them before. So uh, this one definitely will mean a lot to me coming out. So. All right. Well, thank you, Nate. Good luck on Saturday. So, Adam, what's the week of preparation uh, been like here up at St. John's? Um, I mean, we try to keep it consistent week after week. Um, obviously, it's, a, uh, it's, it's obviously a big game, more people coming. So there's a little extra focus, I'd say, um, a little more hours in the film room, but uh, mm -hmm. overall you try to keep it consistent for every game. What kind of an event are you expecting up here um, on Saturday, obviously with the added uh, events the, of this week? Um, well, it's typical, typically the same every year. A lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, it has been growing, but last year obviously I think it reached its peak, but um, uh, just like I said before, I just try to keep it consistent week after week. So I got to ask you about one play last weekend. Uh, your quarterback Jackson Erdman threw a pass with his back to the line of scrimmage, completed for I think what a six-yard gain. What was your perspective on that crazy play? Well, I was actually right behind Jared Strait, who caught it. Oh, and okay. I, so I saw Jackson throw it behind his back. I don't think um, coaches like that very much, but uh, I saw Jared in front. Luckily, he was there. Caught it. Tried to turn around and block someone. I mean, you just got to improvise at that point, I guess. So do you think Jackson saw him at all, or was it just kind of a blind throw? You know, I thought he might have seen him, but watching the film, I, I really don't think he saw him. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Adam. Good luck this weekend. Thank you.